Material sets in Sprite Factory allow you to create materials for a sprite and switch between those materials during runtime. Material sets can be useful if you need to have multiple materials or shaders for a particular sprite for certain effects. So let me just show you an example of a material set in action first. So let's take a look at this sprite right here. And in the sprite inspector, you can see this area under material settings called material set. And the current material set you can see is called default. So I've already set up a couple of material sets in the Sprite Factory editor, one called material set 0 and one called material set 1. Let me switch to material set 0 and you'll see that nothing happened. But if I press play, you will see the character is rendered in a blue material. Now material sets cannot be displayed in the editor but they will show up during gameplay so if I switch to material set 1 you'll see now the character is yellow switch to material set 0 he's blue switch to default he's back to his normal skin color so let's see how this is set up to create material sets you go into the sprite factory editor and on your master sprite go under sprite properties and click the button next to material sets so this material set editor shows you what material sets are currently defined for this sprite right now we have three material sets one is called default one is called material set zero one is called material set one uh, the default material set is always there on every sprite and it always starts with this default sprite material which is part of the sprite factory package here so how this works is for each material set you want to create you must create a material in your project which will be placed into this source material field right here so I've created a couple of materials here like this material called blue and if I click on this material you'll see that it's it's a blue material with a transparent diffuse shader and I've set the color of the material to blue. When you create a source material for a material set you need to choose a shader that has a underscore main text property. So the underscore main text property is used to apply the uh, atlas texture to. So in the case of this transparent diffuse shader this uh, field right here, this, this texture field is underscore main text. Most of Unity's shaders already have a main text property, which is where the, the main texture map is, is applied. So you should be able to use any of Unity's shaders, or if you create your own shader, make sure you have a main text property for this to work properly. So you'll create your, your uh, material on disk here, which is going to be used as a, as a source material. And when we save this sprite, it will create uh, one material for each atlas in the sprite for each material set. So if I look, go look under the save data under materials you can see for for some of these sprites there may be more than one material here for the material set. So sprite 40 has three material sets. That's this sprite here. He's got the first material set is using the uh, regular skin color material the second material set uses the blue material that we defined and the third one uses the yellow material we defined and you can see that the atlas has already been assigned to these uh, materials if you were to have multiple atlases in this sprite it would create one material for each atlas per material set so you need to make sure that you do not delete your materials, your source materials, even after you're done creating your sprites because you may need to come back and make changes to the sprite and it will require this source material to be there for it to recreate the new materials should you change things that create more or fewer atlases and such. So if you ever need to change your material, your source materials on disk, like say you want to change this blue to be purple. Once you change that material, it's not automatically going to change the material sets that were created for this sprite. You'll see that those materials are still blue and yellow. 
in order to update the sprites materials you can either resave the sprite by selecting the sprite and choosing rebuild selected master sprite or if you want to rebuild all the materials at once you can click here rebuild all materials rebuild all materials may, t may take a long time if you have a lot of sprites so I'm not gonna do that I don't have that many sprites so it's not gonna take that long but I can just rebuild this selected master sprite and it'll recreate his atlases, recreate his materials. And if I look down here now, my second material set is purple. The second material set uh, material is now purple. So now another thing I want to mention is if your sprite is in a group, such as these sprites right here in this group, if your sprite is in a group, you'll see there's no material set setting right here. There's no button for, to edit the material sets. That's because the material set is now part of the group. So you need to click on the group here and you'll see right here material sets for the group. So you can do the same thing here just like with the individual sprite, but these material sets are shared by the group, by the sprites in the group, so that if you have uh, a bunch of sprites that use that are in the same group, they can share the same materials, saving draw calls. Let me show you why material sets are useful. If I take this sprite here, let's first let's change his material set back to default and let's make three copies of him. So Unity can batch together draw calls for for objects that use the same material. So these three copies of this sprite all take one draw call. See it says batch three. Well if we take one of these characters and we change his material set. Now we have two draw calls. Let's take the next character and also change him to the second material set. We still have two draw calls. We have switched the third character to that material set. Now we're back to one draw call. All three of these characters are sharing the same materials on disk. They're sharing this, this blue material right here. This is very useful if you have multiple copies of the same sprite and you want to be able to change material sets on those sprites on the screen and not waste draw calls. There's another way you can you can change the material on the sprites but that that method will not uh, be able to batch the draw calls together so it'll actually take a little bit more time but it might be more versatile in some situations. So let me show you that method right here. So for these three characters, if we switch them, okay, they're already still back on their normal material set. There's another field here called Material Override. So the Material Override field works very similarly to Material Set, but it doesn't require that you predefine your material sets in the Sprite Factory Editor. You can just choose at any time during gameplay to apply any material that that has a shader that you, has a main text property, you can apply that to a sprite, and it will automatically create the it will automatically create the right number of materials and apply the correct atlases to them. So, if I were to take this red material I have here and drop it in that material override field, again, you it doesn't show it in the editor, but when you press play, you'll see that character is rendered with a red material. If I select that character, you can see the material is using is called red instance. So this is very important. It's an instance of the material that I dropped on that field. This red here exists on the disk, but it doesn't have any texture assigned to it. But in this character, when I put it in, when I dropped that uh, red material on that material override field and I started the game, it created an instance of that red material and then it added, it assigned the, the atlas, the sprite's atlas to that material. So why is this important? This is important because if I were to do this to multiple characters, like I can go into this character and drop red on his material over, override field. You see he turned red too. And do it on the third character. Drop it on there. They all, the same thing happened to all three of them. But now we have three draw calls. Three draw calls because for each sprite it instanced that material 
and it cannot share it cannot batch the, these three characters together because they're not actually sharing the same material they're sharing instances of a source material but the final material applied to this sprite is is an instance and it's not the same material so it can't be batched together. Still, this could be very useful if you have a bunch of different sprites on the screen and you want to you want to assign a text a material to them for some kind of effect, but you don't want to go into each of the master sprites and and uh, uh, create material sets for all those master sprites for that effect. It it can save you you time just by being able to apply a material to a sprite, but it does come at a at a cost of rendering speed if you have multiple instances of that sprite on the screen. The Sprite Factory documentation has more information on how to use material sets. You can see right here under material sets there's a section on material sets in general and then if you look at under runtime classes the sprite class there's a few functions you can use for changing the material set during gameplay, setting a material override, enabling a material override, and disabling a material override.